Pirates. Well, Basketball Hall of Famer Shaquille O'Neal has had a lot of nicknames throughout his career. Big Aristotle, The Diesel, Shaq Daddy, Shaq Fu, and Superman. Wow. Just to name a few That's of them, Baker. Right there. Today we're giving him a new one, The Big Gig. Ooh. Joining us now is Shaquille O'Neal and Steady CEO Adam Roseman. Steady, of course, is an app that lets users access a platform of listing part-time hourly and on-demand work opportunities. Listings are customized according to a user's geographical location and skills. Okay, now that we know what Steady is, thank you both for joining us here today. Shaq, what drew you to this company in the first place? Well, I met Adam in Atlanta, <laughs> and he said, Shaq, do you want to help people have a more sustainable income? And I said, well, what do you mean? And he started talking about gigs. I, I never knew gig was, was a real word. And then it took me back to my childhood. You know, my mom and dad both had to get extra jobs for extra income. And, you know, he showed me some research about uh, I think the research stated that 70% of Americans, even the ones that have jobs, still do gigs on the side. And I was very interested. And, uh, you know, I was part of the research. I, you know, we went to like uh, 10 to 15 different research groups. I went to 10 to different uh, families and, you know, talked to, you know, people about, you know, what they needed gigs for. And, you know, a lot of people needed them for jobs because they couldn't find jobs. A lot of people had jobs and wanted to, you know, get a gig, get extra income, vacation, or, you know, extra car note or, 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 or whatever. So I think it's a great app. And, you know, I stressed to Adam, I said, uh, if, if you come out with an app, just make sure it's, it's dummy proof. <laughs> it has to be shack proof. Yeah, you're right, shack proof. Hey, what did you call it dummy? No, I'm just saying it has to be easy for all of us. Listen, I am. So when I use technology, I want it to be very easy because if it's easy for me, yeah. it'll be easy for the you know common user. Okay, so Adam, he told us about the pitch. Why was Shaq such a perfect person? Why did you want him to be the face of this? Well, uh, hearing his story, right, and he and I have very similar upbringings. I don't have four rings on my finger that uh, that I can celebrate, but both both had very hardworking mothers, right, and. Hearing the story of his upbringing, um, how hard his mother worked, looking at how he treats his mother today, um, is a result of that. He, he, and then I think most importantly, his ability to connect with people, right? And want to go in and hear stories. Um, seeing him in North Georgia, in a rural area, uh, with a, a mother who um, had to stay at home to take care of her children because her husband was ill, sitting down and listening to her story, hear, hear and see her tears, um, and the way that he interacted was just, um, it was a perfect fit for what, what we wanted to accomplish. And Jack, your story continues to be really impressive. You've successfully transitioned into a businessman and doing a lot of other things after um, playing in the NBA. What advice do you have for people who maybe want to change careers, especially as millennials and Gen Zers tend well, to want to change careers every couple of years even? Well, I don't want to sit up and you know sound like I'm, uh, I'm an expert, but you know, a lot of people in, in this world, they like gigs, they, they, they like doing gigs. Me, the way I do business, I, I've, I've developed a, a strict formula. I've stuck to that formula. Uh, I like to watch people that are more intelligent than me. Uh, I heard the, the great Jeff Bezos say, if you invest in things that's gonna change people's lives, it's a win-win. So when I met with Adam, I was like, this is definitely gonna change people's lives because there's a lot of people out there that need gigs and want gigs that yeah. do gigs. So I thought this was very, very important to get involved. And again, I was part of the research, I went out, you know, you know, I sat and you know, talked to people. Because me, I've never had a real job, but I understand that pain. Watching my mom, watching my dad, watching relatives, you know, watching friends work gigs. And again, I, I didn't even know gig was a word. I just thought a part-time job, or something like that. So, you know, to be able to hang out with Adam and you know the folks at Steady and be a part of the research and you know try to help people improve, getting more, uh, uh, getting a more su sustainable income. I think it's a great thing to do. All right, so Adam, we were talking a little bit about what Steady was earlier at yeah. the top of this, but there are some other companies out there similar to this. Uh, Adam, could you tell our viewers a little bit more about uh, what you guys do at Steady? Sure, so today if you look at the platforms that are on the market, if you look at Job Search, Monster, uh, and um, indeed, you look at um, good platforms that are providing a two-sided marketplace like an Uber or DoorDash, who is their customer at the end of the day, right? Their customer is the entity, the individual who's contracting that labor, right? So their experience is always gonna be tuned to benefit that entity. Um, there are countless technologies that have come onto the market over the last 20 years that have served to drive efficiencies for the employer. There is not a single platform that is built and tuned to drive efficiencies for the worker. Right. And so in all of these instances, the worker continues to be disadvantaged. And so from our perspective, we started Steady in order to build a platform that was going to help a worker survive and thrive in this very rapidly changing nature of work. 
And Jack, I think we can kind of say you're a part of the gig economy because you have a ton of gigs and a lot of side hustles going for yourself. We have a fun video that went Ooh, viral this summer. Yes. Let's take a quick Let's look if we can. Impressive. First of all, it must be nice to be able to see over a crowd when you're at an EDM <laughs> yeah, festival. Was... I just see people sweaty backs. Yes. But how did you fall in love with EDM and DJing and yeah, make that a part intense. of your life? I mean, I've been DJing since 1988, and music has always been a stress reliever for me. And when I was young, I used to go to a, a lot of concerts: uh, Public Enemy, LL Cool J, Big Daddy Kane. And you know, it reminds me of a of a playoff basketball game. So when I went to Tomorrow World, I think it was 2012. I met the promoter and I was like, just give me one chance to do this because, again, it reminded me of a game of seven. It gave me the adrenaline that I was missing from playing. So uh, that, that particular clip I was performing at Tomorrow World, but I got there a couple hours early, so <laughs> might as well be a fan and, you know, just go see some of my favorite DJs. All right, we got to talk really quickly NBA basketball, Shaq. A uh, lot of trades, a lot of free agent movement. What's been the biggest surprise to you this offseason? To tell you the truth, I haven't really been paying attention. I know, you know, the Lakers made some moves, the Clippers made some moves, but, you know, when I retired from basketball, my mother, uh, who I admire very deeply, she said, son, I'm so proud of you, I love you, made a lot of money, follow your dreams, but what are you going to do to make other people happy? So right now I'm just focusing on business and just focusing on making people smile and just focusing on, you know, uh, lifting somebody else up, and that's what I'm focused on right now. I do want to ask you, since you probably get presented with so many opportunities, what do you actually look for in a partnership uh, when it comes to choosing thing, relationships that will feel authentic to you and that you really believe in what the company is? Well, I, I first look at the person. Uh, I first look at the product and see if it's something that I relate to. Like, for example, gigs. Uh, as I said earlier, mom, dad, a lot of friends work gigs. So, uh, you know, if I don't believe in the product, as an honest businessman, I can't take your money. If I don't believe in your product, I will not request a meeting and ask to invest in your company. So I um, got that from Jeff Bezos, uh, you know, a lot of other wealthy guys who I, who I follow. And uh, it's been working for me. But again, I don't want to sit up here and act like I'm an expert. You know, just try to, just try to stick, stick to, you know, what I know. Uh, before you succeed, you must first learn to fail. Mm -hmm. And early on, I probably lost mm -hmm. over I'll, I'll just say I lost a lot of money just, you know, trying to do it the get rich quick way. So now I'm just focusing on changing people's lives, making people smile, making people happy, and been very, very successful. And with this one right here, if you want to get an extra gig, go to the App Store or Google Play and download Steady. Easy, easy, easy. So easy. So easy. So easy. Shaq could do it, apparently. It's so Shaq easy, Pro. Shaq. Dummy Can proof. I give yes, somebody a hug on the show? Yes. 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 You want to give someone a Who hug? Who do you want to hug? I love this guy right here. All right. Jared, 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 our Jared, Jared, so Jared, Jared, our floor manager. He has been guy. making Come fun on. of, Shaq's been making fun of our floor manager. No, I have not been making fun. I love this guy. And that's why we love him. Hugs galore. I love this guy right here. Shaquille O'Neal of Steady, CEO, Adam Roseman, Shaq, Adam. Yes, and Jared. Thank you both for joining us here. Shaq, a little bossy, but I still love Wait, Shaq, we Get want you to here. read Put this. The mic on. We Do want this. to read you to Can read we this scroll tease. Out. Yes, last Shaq, time read you were this. here, you were practicing prompter, so we want to give you a yes. chance. Okay, ready? Yes. yes. And after the break, we're going to space. SpaceX's Starhopper prototype rocket had a successful test flight yesterday. What that means for the future of space. Stay tuned. Ooh, we have a Shaq for that one. Don't go anywhere.